Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing a few questions from the Just for Exams question bank on the poem A Photograph by Shirley Tolson. Let us look at the literary devices in this poem. Oxymoron has been used. And labored ease of loss is an example of that oxymoron. How is it an oxymoron? Ease is comfort and comfort must come without effort. But in this poem, the mother as well as the poet, both of them are trying to draw a lot of comfort from their loss. And that comfort doesn't come to them that easily. It comes with a lot of effort. Terribly transient is a transferred epithet. Because terribly transient refers to the fact that man is mortal and it is he is actually temporary on this face of earth. So man is transient and that transience is passed on to the feet because when the water covers the feet for a second it seems as if the feet are temporary. Alliteration, repetition of a consonant sound at the beginning of two or more consecutive words. The instances of alliteration in the poem are as follows. Stood still, through there, my mother's terribly transient and silence silences. Now let's look at the summary. The poem is a tribute to the poet's mother. She is looking at an old photograph of her mother which has a frame, which is on the frame of a cardboard. The picture has three girls in which the middle one is the oldest and tallest and she happens to be the poet's mother. It is her mother when she was 12 years or so and beside her are her two young cousins Becky and Dolly who are holding her hands and are younger than her. They went for paddling on the beach holiday. Her uncle took her their photograph then. The poet could not help but notice how sweet her mother's face was and the sea that touched her terribly transient feet, terribly temporary feet, depicted that she had changed over the years but the sea had remained the same. After 20-30 years later, her mother would laugh at the photograph. She would make the poet look at the photograph and tell her how her parents would dress them up for the beach holiday. They find, she found it hilarious. The beach holiday was her mother's favorite past memories, while her mother's laugh was the poet's favorite memory. Both of them lost something which they cherished a lot and yet cannot live that moment again. They tried their best, oxymoron, tried their best to draw comfort from their loss, labored ease of loss. Those sweet moments were memories now. Now the poet's mother had been dead for the 12 years, which is the same number as her age when the photograph was taken back then. She cannot express the grief that she has from her mother's absence. Now there are certain specific lines which can be asked in the exam and it's just a way of paying more attention to those few lines. And the sea which appears to have changed less washed their terribly transient feet. The poet has deliberately juxtaposed the changelessness of the sea with the mortality of man. She wants to show man is mortal whereas nature is immortal. The sea has washed their feet which is indicative of the fact man is short-lived as compared to nature. Nature is perennial, whereas human life is temporary. Transferred epithet and alliteration. Terribly transient feet is an example of transferred epithet as well as alliteration. Human life is temporary, not feet. And alliteration because of the ter sound. 
Now let's look at the next page. The sea holiday was her past, mine is her, was her last term. The poet recalls how her mother would laugh while looking at it. The sea holiday was a part of her mother's childhood. Her past and the mother's laughter was the poet's past as her mother was no more. In the other line which is of great concern and usually is asked in the exam is, both rhyme with the labor days of loss. Both here refers to the mother's laughter and the poet's memory of her mother. Both of them were tinged with the loss of the mother. The mother had lost those happy childhood days and the poet had lost her mother, therefore Rai. Labored conveys that both the poet and the mother were struggling to cope with their loss. Yet both of them realized that loss was final and they had to accept it. Therefore, ease. Labor ease of loss is an oxymoron, it's a poetic device as we had already discussed it in the previous slides. Both were dry and it denotes human helplessness when confronted with loss. We try hard to cope but we have no choice but to accept change. Another line which is the last line of the poem, it silence silences. It means the truth and mystery of the poet's mother's death fills him with sadness. The constant pain she experiences on account of her loss makes her silent. She is unable to solve the mystery about death. She can't do anything about it. Whenever she remembers her mother, she becomes silent with the pain that followed after her mother's death. And the figure of speech is alliteration. So I hope children you will benefit from this video. All the important lines have been explicitly explained. In case your question comes as a one mark answer, you should know which portion of this explanation is to be picked up. If the question is a two mark or a three mark SEQ, short answer question, then you know how much has to be written. I have given maximum uh, uh, importance to these particular lines. I hope you benefit from this video and the next video coming up is the laburnum talk for class 11. I hope you visit that. Thank you.